In this video, I'll be sharing my winter kitchen vignette. Stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm participating in a challenge, but before I give you the details of the challenge and who the host is, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen and this is a lifestyle channel and over here we enjoy cooking, cleaning, home decor, shopping hauls, occasionally a DIY. So if you enjoy that type of content, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified every time that I upload a new video. And if you're a returning friend, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm participating in a challenge that's being hosted by the lovely Denise Jordan of the channel This and That with Denise Jordan. And the title of the challenge is The Winter Kitchen Vignette. Now, Denise Jordan hosts these kitchen vignette challenges every season, and this is the winter edition. Now, let me share with you the details of the challenge. The vignette, um, and now, now let me just tell you that a vignette, in case you're not familiar, a vignette is basically a small scene, if you will, and it's usually placed on a tray, and that is one of the rules of this challenge that Denise is asking us to use. Um, the vignette must be on a tray. We must include a floral or some type of greenery, include a recipe, and also include a kitchen tool of some type, something that you would use in your kitchen, and then the rest is up to you. Upload your video on January the 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Title the video Kitchen Vignette Challenge Winter 2020 and use the hashtag Kitchen Vignette Challenge Winter 2020. Those are the details of the challenge. Now, without further ado, here is my Winter Kitchen Vignette for 2020. All right, guys, here is my Winter Kitchen Vignette for 2020, and I'm calling this my Italian-inspired Winter Kitchen Vignette. So let me take you in for a closer look. Um, the inspiration behind this vignette is coming from this little item right here. This is my mortar and pestle. I keep this in my kitchen over here by my stove. And guys, a mortar and pestle is used to mince, grind, or mix ingredients um, by crushing or grinding them. So if you put your spices in here, you can crush and grind them. So like if you're using a, to make a pesto or a hummus, or something like that. You put the ingredients in here, like your spices, and you grind them up. So this is my mortar and pestle, and this was actually the um, inspiration behind this entire vignette. Um, I, like I said, I do keep this over here by my stove. Um, and so that's the mortar and pestle. So that is my kitchen tool. Okay, and then right behind the mortar and pestle is my Sicilian blend bread dipping seasoning. I'll give you a close-up of that. I don't know if you guys, whenever you guys go out to the restaurants and they serve that uh, bread with the seasoning, it is so good. Well, this is um, the type of seasoning um, that you would use if you want to make it at home. Okay. All right, behind the seasoning blend here is my floral. I just took this little topiary ball and placed it on top of this little... Um, I forget what these are called, but um, this little cup, if you will. And I just took the topiary ball and placed it there. So that represents my floral, my greenery. All right, and then let me go ahead and show you these cute little plates that I thrifted earlier this year. They're like cheese plates. All right, here's the first one. It says, um, these are words in Italian, so that's olivas but that's Italian for olives all right the next plate is formaggio and formaggio is an Italian cheese the next plate I have it says panera and that means bread or bread basket in Italian and then this word on this plate is vino and of course that means wine so I just love these little plates. Um, I did thrift these earlier in the year. Um, and here, guys, I just have a basic dish towel, a red, a green and red and white plaid dish towel that I've placed down. 
Now, the, the vignette is sitting on a wicker, um, wicker placemat, and the wicker placemat is sitting on top of a Lazy Susan. So I just, uh, that is what is um, serving as my tray for this vignette. The Lazy Susan and then the uh, wicker placemat on top of the Lazy Susan. Now, here is my, oh, and here is my little cheese spreader. I've had this for a long, long time. All right. This was part of the set. I think it's, the other one has grapes on it. But put that there because I thought it went so well with the color scheme I have going on. Now, here is my recipe card. And I've got a recipe here for Italian bread dipping, which is what I have here. Basically, guys, what you do is you take one teaspoon of your seasoning, two tablespoons of olive oil, mix the seasoning and olive oil together and let it stand for a few minutes so that the flavors infuse together and then serve with warm bread and enjoy. So you can have that uh, nice um, warm bread and seasoning just like you would at a restaurant in, the, in your own home. You can enjoy it. All right, guys, and I picked this up um, when I was um, in Williamsburg earlier this year during the summer. They have that gourmet kitchen section at the in, at the pottery down there, and I picked up this um, uh, Sicilian blend seasoning while I was there. All right, guys, so this is my Italian-inspired winter kitchen vignette for 2020. And here I do have my little chef back here. I thought he would be a nice addition uh, to the vignette. He's usually over there by my stove as well, but I brought him over to sit here with my vignette uh, for the video. So let me go ahead and just take you around. And like I said, it is on a Lazy Susan, so it does spin around. But this is my vignette, my Italian-inspired vignette. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Denise Jordan of This and That with Denise Jordan for extending this open invitation to participate in her winter kitchen vignette. Um, I'll make sure again and put Denise's channel, the link to her channel in my description box along with the playlist for this challenge so that you can go over and check out all of the participants in the challenge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button if you did and leave me a comment on what you like the most about uh, my vignette. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to always live your life to the fullest every day, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.